Schlump. Hello everybody, it's Schlump here, and today I'm making a quick video about how to install GE Proton on your Steam Deck, because last video I made talking about Halo Infinite on the Steam Deck, I used GE Proton in that video, and I explained what it is to people who are maybe unfamiliar with it, and haven't heard of it before. And what I didn't do in that video, however, was show you how to install it. And after making the video, I realized I haven't really talked about how to install it, I don't think. So definitely haven't made a full video on it. So that's what I'm doing today, making a full complete video on how to install GE Proton. It's really simple, so let's get into it. First, you go into the Discover Store, and then I have it in my installed here. Here it is. Get this application called Proton Up QT. And what that will do will provide an easy way, as easy as it can possibly get really, for you to install GE Proton on your Steam Deck. Also, I guess if you didn't watch the Halo Infinite video, or you have no idea what GE Proton is, basically what it is, it's another version of Proton that's updated more frequently than Valve's official Proton versions that you can use with games on the Steam Deck, which will allow them to run sometimes a lot better than they do with normal Proton. It can turn a completely unplayable game, broken mess, to a really enjoyable experience on the deck. So it can work magic, and sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta try it, and that's what I usually try to do with my videos. Most of them include Proton GE. So, once you have it installed from here, you click install there, and now it's installed, so I can click launch. And that'll open up. It's a little bit slow, sometimes like this Discover application is, like you saw there earlier. And this will pop up, and it's important to note that before you install anything from here, you're going to want to close out of Steam. So click exit Steam there and make sure Steam is completely shut down because it could it could mess up some things if you add a version here and install it uh, while Steam is still open. So let's click add version to get the latest version of GE Proton. It's going to be 37. It's always going to put you on the latest one first, but you can select a different version if you want to. But we're just going to stick with 37 and click install. And it's going to start doing that. And it might take like a minute or two, but overall, it's a very quick process. Okay, it just finished. And so we can actually set the Proton version of a Steam game within here without even having to open up Steam. So we can go to Show Game List. And that'll pop up in a few seconds. There we go. And I can just pick a game here. And it actually tells you the deck compatibility on it, which is cool too. I'm going to pick Wii Tanks and just click the version I want, 37 and then apply. And then now when I go into Steam, I'm gonna close that and start up Steam. That's gonna load up. Here we are. We're in Steam now, and we can go to the game that I applied the G Proton version to. Go to Options there, or you can right click on it and then Properties, and then Compatibility, and you'll see that this version of G Proton is applied. So you can do it through the Proton application, or you can do it through Steam. You just choose a version there. And that's all there is really to it. There is one other note, though, that I, I think I should add to GE Proton on Steam Deck, is that um, some games, if they have a launch options on Steam, there's actually a pretty neat launch option that works really well with GE Proton. I believe only GE Proton can do. So I'm going to find it where I have it installed on a game on here before, so I can just copy and paste it in. Here it is. Actually, I want it without Mango Hood. So I'm going to get actually that. And then go into here. Go back into Properties. I'm going to take this part out here. There you go. So if you make it look like this, this can completely change the performance for some games. I don't really understand why it works. It just does. So. You should definitely try it if you're going to be using GE Proton. And that is all there is to GE Proton on Steam Deck. More versions come out frequently, so every few days I check back into the Proton applications and see if a new version has been published. And so you can now too, because games just get updates faster over time with GE Proton than they do with Proton Experimental or Proton 7 by Valve. So it's a really neat thing on deck. And with that, that's going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching. If this video taught you something new about GE Proton, how to install it, or maybe just something new about the Steam Deck, leave a like and subscribe for more Steam Deck videos just like this one. Most people who watch my videos have not actually hit the subscribe button, so please go down and do that. It helped me a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Steam Deck video.